Hey guys, it's Gabby. Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I have some easy nail ideas for you guys. And it has been forever since I've done some nail art, which is crazy. But I actually ended up cutting off all of my nails again because I noticed there's like no actual short nail tutorials out there. So we're gonna be doing some today. And I did partner up with Arosa on this video. And you guys know I love Arosa. I was introduced to their brand probably like a year ago and I've been using their products ever since. They have some really cute colors, a good formula, and they're vegan and cruelty free. So I will have their website linked down below. And yeah, let's get right into these nail looks. So for the first design, I started off with Snow, which is like this off white shade that it's really been growing on me. And I applied a top coat, let that dry, and then put some striping tape just kind of randomly along the sides. And then I'm going in with the shade Dusk and applying that over my entire nail. And I do have a do's and don'ts video on striping tape. So I'll put that on the screen or like in the description box. But the biggest thing that you wanna remember is you wanna get that tape off as soon as possible because you don't want the nail polish to dry. So as soon as I was done applying Dusk, I went ahead and peeled that off using some tweezers. And then after that, you're just gonna finish off with a top coat. And as always, I'm gonna be showing you guys both finishes. So here is the glossy and the matte, which you guys already know. I just like the matte better. It looks so good. <laughs> Moving on to the next nail idea, I'm starting off again with snow as my base, and then I'm using rose quartz, and it's like a really sheer pink, and I'm just like putting random blobs of it on my nail. And then I did the same thing using sky, which is this periwinkle blue shade and I made these areas a little bit smaller because I didn't want it to be too blue and then I'm also adding in moon which is their nude shade and I've talked about this before you need this I'm already on my second bottle guys that's how much I love this shade so I'm gonna add that in and then I actually ended up going back in with rose quartz because like I mentioned it is a sheer shade so it kind of created almost a layered effect because it wouldn't completely cover up the colors beneath it and even though I had no clue what I was was doing with this design I actually really like how it turned out it's super easy to do you don't need any tools and it just looks I don't know it's like kind of abstract but still put together I don't know how to explain it but yeah just add a top coat and you're done and side note this is actually really weird seeing my nails this small on camera they just look so tiny but I kind of like it I think I might keep cutting my nails short for a few weeks maybe even a month just so I can keep making tutorials like this so let me know if that's something you guys would like to see because I feel like a lot of people do have short nails so anyways for the next design I'm doing some polka dots and I am using a dotting tool for this you can use a bobby pin but keep in mind if you use a bobby pin your dots will be smaller so if you want them this big I would just get some dotting tools I'll find some and link them down below so this is actually the first time I've done polka dots like this using so many different shades but I absolutely love how it turned out I'm pretty much using I want to say like eight different colors from them basically for this you're gonna start by making a row of polka dots and then when you go to the next one you're gonna make the dot in the space of the previous row and whenever you get into corners like the one I just showed you you're just gonna go ahead and make your dot and then clean up anything that gets on your skin that's just what works best for me if there's gonna be a dot that's cut off and then you want to make sure you let this dry completely and then go ahead and apply your top coat and do this very carefully you just want to glide it over the top because polka dots are really easy to smear and that is it for this design if you don't feel comfortable doing rows you can also just put them in random spots and if while you're doing this you start getting a bunch of different size dots then I would just continue to make a variety of sizes just so it looks intentional and actually yeah let me know if you would want to see a video on like how to control the different size of your dots. I don't know if that's something that would be interesting. For the next two designs, I'm gonna be doing some negative space. So I'm only gonna be starting off with a base coat as kind of my base color. But for the first one, I'm taking Moon and just kind of swiping it at an angle across my nail. And this color is so opaque. Like, do you see that? That is one coat, it's crazy. And then once that dries, I'm gonna go back in with the shade succulent and it's this army green shade and pretty much I'm gonna create that same exact shape but just smaller so it looks like it kind of has that outline and I mean I guess you could start with the green and then draw an outline around it but I just feel like this method is easier but whatever works for you is fine so I did end up doing two coats of succulent because I did have a few areas where I could still see that nude color showing through but yeah once again just finish off with a top coat and you are done
for the next design I'm gonna be using these French tip nail vinyls from what's up nails and I just placed one going along the top of my nail and then I'm just filling that in using the shade super bloom and once that's filled in I'm just gonna peel off that nail vinyl right away and then do the same thing going along the bottom using the shade moon and this time I did use a brush instead of the brush that comes in the nail polish bottle just so I would have more control of where the nail polish was going so I just filled in the top area removed the nail vinyl and then continued filling in that space and I did this because with nail vinyls and striping tape you do have to work pretty quickly so this just gives me more time because then I can fill in that area without having to rush or anything like that and the brush that I'm using is from Amazon and I did cut it down which is why it looks crazy but I mean it works so lastly I have an abstract design and I just love abstract because you can't tell when you mess up so for this I just made two random kind of arch things I don't even know what this is supposed to be but I used super bloom and dusk for this and I did kind of wiggle my brush a little bit just so it would look almost like a painting a messy painting again I don't know what this is but I do like how it turned out so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed all of these looks let me know which one was your favorite and I will talk to you in my next video bye